Welcome to Obstacle Running Adventures. Make it a 1K and don't let it die. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so another Spartan change for the this upcoming year is the competitive wave changes where it's going to be age group and all that. There's no choosing elite age group. You race. The best people will be in the first wave. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. What's everyone's thoughts? Love it same see you later sandbaggers <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i think it's fantastic i think yeah. from I, i've said this before and i'll say it again from a female perspective i think it will hopefully encourage more women i can certainly speak for the uk when i first started racing and it was just one big uh elite wave and everyone was together okay we didn't have age group podiums but there were a heck of a lot more women than there were then when it's split down to age group. And I think it's something just in the female psychology of it being so scary. Um, and I think hopefully it will encourage more women to just go into that category because you're racing together. You're not standing there with like four other women and going, oh my God, I could just be the only one who doesn't podium here. This could be really embarrassing. Um, so from my point of view, hopefully it'll work in that way. And then in terms of the competition, I think I, I do think it's a really, I think it's a really good idea. I think it's really fun. And like you say, we'll stop sandbaggers. I don't know how much of a problem that is in racing, but it'll help some people come to the fore and, and create more competition. I, I, I would talk to Ariel Fitzgerald once and she said along the lines, <clears throat> excuse me, of what you said there for the women, some women that she knew were too intimidated to go in the elite field because they didn't want to wear a crop top. Yep. Mm. And, and you know, the kind of thing, cause there were so few and everybody was so exposed mm. and all that. So they, they felt intimidated and, I think like you hit on a good point that not a lot of people think about that, where it is the intimidation factor. And now it's just, it's just the racing wave, essentially. It's just the competitive wave. You don't have to, you can blend in a little more if you're nervous about it and you can go, I, th I think that's great. I think it's a solid point that not too many people think about. Yeah. And they originally went to having the competitive wave and then the age group waves because they had this big elite wave, but that's all you had was the, you know, the podium for that. And so there was all these people that were like, we need somewhere to compete. And it, it did have a, a place, but now it's gotten to the point to where it's cannibalized the elite wave. <laughs> so oh. it, we're going back to having everybody in one. And I think, it, I think it's taking care of both now mm. because you don't have those big elite waves. So now it's helping that feed that. But then at the same time, you are still getting a, a, an age group, competition even though some people will be sad that they're not getting their age group because there are other people that will take those podium spots which just that's the way it should be anyway that's the way it is yeah i yeah. i remember it was either the week after or the week of that that news announcement and i was reading the podiums for a race uh one of the spartan races and the women's podium there was one woman and I'm like, oh, which, which women took second? We don't know. Probably some badass in the in the age group that didn't bump herself up. Mm -hmm. And now there's there's no choice in that matter. And so now we will get to see some more athletes out there. We'll see better race strategy because they'll be racing against more difficult people. And um, it sounds like a, most of the age groupers are excited. I know a lot of the 30s ones, like those are the ones that are going to be losing their positions, their age group positions. But now their age group positions are actually going to mean something. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's, this is what I've been wanting for so long. I'm glad they've returned to this. If yeah. you're, in, so go ahead, friend, go ahead. No, I was just going to, in the UK, it's my age group exactly that is the most competitive with the women, mm. which is, I don't even know what the age groups, I'm 38. Um, so that's the most competitive one. I remember looking at some stats from, it was the British champs, which wouldn't technically apply, but still, and my whole age group podium would have been filled with women and I wouldn't have a chance, but I don't have the chance anyway. And I can say the only criticism that I've heard of it is people going, but I'm not going to podium as age group. And it's like, well then try out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, could I podium at age group by turning up to a race? Yeah. By turning up to a race, which is why I've never bothered doing that because it kind of lost the fun and I couldn't podium now anyway without a heck of a lot of work, but oh my gosh, you have to, you have to work harder to succeed in a sport. Eesh, tough. Yeah, it, and it, it, it does it does still depend on the race mm -hmm. like sure. there are going to be there's still a zillion races there are going to be smaller races that you can still run age group and and or run competitively and still win age group or maybe even elite because there's not that many people there i'm just i think my comment is kind of pointing out so many people not so many 
a handful of people were looking at it purely from their individual perspective, right. which was, I am going to lose out on this. Yeah, if yeah which I'm saying, of... I don't think they are. I don't think they would necessarily will in the mm. way that they think it, of it. Yeah, very possibly, actually. Possibly, if yeah. you're one of those people who are worried that you're going to lose out on your age group podium because you're in that, say, 25 to 35 area in around there, well, you probably should have been running elite anyway. Yeah. And you should take more pride in coming in the top 10 in the elite than you should in winning an age group, or at least the way it was now. 